Day 22, it's freezing cold. Pavel did indeed do a fantastic job last night getting some stuff. The night was quiet. Just thinking about what we want to do today. Uh, oh yeah, of course you got to sleep, didn't you Roman? You actually got to sleep tonight because we built the reinforced... Um, reinforced door. Oh, no, Pavel, you're... getting a little bit. Pavel, you go to bed. Roman, put a little bit more firewood on. It's just getting, it's got to the borderline now. We don't want it to get any colder than this. Now I think we've still got some good stuff at the old town. Yeah, we need a thermostat, don't we? We've got the cogs, we've got all of that. Let's get everyone fed. Let's get Roman shredding the old guitar. So we can't build a thermostat. Um, We don't have the components that we would need at the moment anyway, so we'll just we'll, we'll hold off doing that now. Got a saw blade, that's great. Um, okay, you can only make one guitar. Guess you can only make one radio as well. Okay, well that's that's good to know. Great in the old herb gar the herbal workshop. I, th I think that you can make sort of first aid things like um, bandages and stuff. Need a lot of resources, and we would need a mixer. So we're not. We're definitely not there yet. So we've got some ice. Uh, Hold off making any more filters. We'll check the radio. Oh, great. We've got an absolute ton of stuff that we are willing to trade. So those tablets, medicine, obviously in high demand. What do we want? Well, make it even happier in here. I don't know if there's a limit on, on how many books actually make a difference. Oh, we don't want to be we don't want to be impressive. Okay. No firewood. No firewood. Um Yeah, I mean we want components. We definitely, we definitely do. Uh, ooh, driving a hard bargain as far as that goes. Well, I don't want to be generous. Never want to be accused of generosity. Okay, cool. You can have it for almost nothing. Well, it's got some value to us. Ooh. Um. <laughs> He's not, uh, not offering a great price for, uh, for food. Fine, we can have a deal. Don't sound too grateful, pal. Let's get some nice quality cigarettes for uh, Roman as well. I was that a good deal? Mm. But we've got 
we've got plenty of stuff with which to trade. Um, we are planning on going somewhere a little bit dangerous soon, so maybe having some extra thunder plugs is a good idea. That's pretty good price, I would say. Let's see, can we upgrade the herbal bench? Soon be able to. Do we need to get some water back? Well, yeah, I mean, Let's get some filters built and ready. Are we doing firewood? Okay. I think we should have some more really as well. Okay, you've rested. The next thing is to have something to eat. I'm tempted to upgrade the herbal garden because, <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we can keep the, the place warm with what we've got, basically. Um, that's not a problem. It'd be more convenient with an, a more efficient second heater, but <clears throat> definitely not an essential thing. Oh, this music is so gloomy. We're, we're doing fine. We really, really are. <laughs> Do we need any fresh water? Not really, so we can hold off on... I mean, we get an even number of, of meals cooked whenever we cook them, so... Uh, the hell. We are trying to do a run through where Roman remains happy so there you go. Yeah because we do need to make more firewood we can make that I suppose at the um, workbench as well. Go on mate. What are you in a food coma? course we've got to let the day run out so that we are topping up the heaters at the very very end of the day so we're getting the most out of them just stay warm overnight it means that everybody avoids getting sick even if they did we've, we've got a lot of medication and stuff here but you know we don't want that to happen day 22 I mean it might it might stay freezing cold the radio said it was still gonna stay cold so it might well stay cold until the very end of this survival experience, but um, not too concerned at the moment. Plenty of water, that's great. I mean, we could make even more, really. Great trading commodity. Obviously, we got those uh, those rounds for just a handful of water really which was which was great yeah you stay there 
ready to top this up just in case. Old Town is where we're going, everyone gets to get some kip, except Pavel who is going to be scavenging obviously. Yeah, let's do it, we don't need to bring any tools, we've got everything, got a virtual library there, look at that, nine books, plenty of reading material. So we know the, uh, the the deal with the uh, with the guy. He's been significantly hurt. He is not going to present a problem for us. Two, three, yeah. Loads of wood. Much wood as we can carry, and firewood. Seven bullets as well. Could be useful. I think we're just going to be popping here tomorrow night again as well. Because, I mean, look at all of the great stuff that we've got right here. Let's take those. Start making some SIGs. I think we can load up on even more wood. Okay, great. Love it when you have a place cleared, everything is stashed. It's just like a free supermarket or something. You just pick what you want, stuff it in your backpack or whatever, and then out you go. Day 23, gloomy music. Again, it ain't too bad. Oh, it's quite a tough group, but we managed to fend them off. So, people are coming to make nuisance of themselves. It is good to know, though, that no matter how tough they are, we can we can fight them back. Confirmation that peacekeepers are indeed en route. Okay, I a lot of news there uh, suggesting that yeah. There might be a solution to this whole thing soon. It's good. Let's make some cigarettes. Roman's gonna run out today. I don't know if we've got any more events or anything that are gonna gonna sort of crop up. Well, hang on a minute. We need electrical components and we need a mixer, therefore we are not going to be able to do that anytime soon. Let's have some higher quality cigarettes, shall we? Oh, we can already make bandages. Yeah, we haven't got a, a still... Um, it's not really something that we need. In my run-throughs, I don't tend to build stills and, and, and stuff like that. Um, metal workshop. I would like to know what it takes to upgrade this. Because then we could get some body armor. We've got some damaged body armor back at the, um, back at the old town. Cogs, mixer, loads of components. It's just... For what we get, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Yes, we would be able to craft bullets if we had the components for them. Is anyone going to visit? Is anybody going to say, hey, I need help with this or that or, or anything like that? 
Roman playing his tune. What's that? What's that that's glowing by the snowman? What is that? A little graphical glitch or something? We've got veggies growing, heaters pumping out warmth, radio playing some tunes, just like Roman. What, what is this? Go, Pavel, go out here and just check what this is. Whatever it is, we can't do anything with it. Okay. <laughs> I wonder... We've got the guitar down there, but I'm just wondering if we can build uh, a seat next to the heaters or anything. It just make it easier to keep them topped up, basically. Not that it's kind of problem really to do it anyway. Screw it, I'm just going to build another chair. Why? Because I just feel like doing it. So we've got to leave it just a little later. Um, yeah, a little bit later before we top up the heaters for the night. Still stuff for us to do. Do they say anything? We've got armchairs and a chair. Okay, maybe that makes them a little bit happier as well, having more facilities. Oh, we are not burning books. While we've got the downtime, let's get ourselves some ice. Essentially, in these temperatures for making water. Nobody visited, no trade to be done. We'll go back to the old house. Uh, and I think we're really looking at getting ready to take on the warehouse. Yes, yeah, so the veggies, it's not going to be too long before the veggies are ready. some more water queued up basically that's probably worth doing it's pretty much the end of the night everybody knows the drill
yeah, more components. More wood, obviously. Um, yeah, I think we will take that, actually. Might make a quick note of what's here. Sorry, do excuse me just for one second. Again, it is so handy to make a note of what is at the places when you sort of are no longer visiting them. So, Old Town, Bandage, two cans, nine cigarettes. Let's remember to build a, uh, another shovel because we may as well leave this one here. Oh, actually, no, let's take it. Um, Eleven components. Loads of cogs. Four weapon components. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen wood. <coughs> And what we're going to do is um, we're going to go we're going to go to the warehouse tonight. Um, might have some electrical components, might have some other bits. Not that we really need for anything. But then there is also the consideration that you're watching a video, and there is something nice and relaxing and, and cool about watching our survivors just glide through this horrible situation god damn it wow they're really going for it um but i'm sure you want to see a little action so a little action is what you're going to get I'm going to go to the warehouse we'll take on those bandits that have stolen uh humanitarian aid packages Oh, those rat traps really aren't triggering, triggering are they? Um, oh, he says, just as one triggers. Katya, why don't you take care of that? Veggies are almost ready. Again, why, why nobody can cook a vegetable broth, I do not know. Look at that, there you go. They both triggered. It's like they heard me. Loads of food. Vegetables. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get more. Tell you what, Katya. Why don't you do the entertaining? Yeah, play that one song. I'm, I'm sure there is another song that they play as well. What they actually play sort of depends on, on their actual skill with the old guitar. Hey, I have something you'll like. I presume this is somebody whom we helped earlier. And now they're going to say, hey, look, I got this for you because you helped me out. Let's see. Are we trading? Okay. I, I wasn't expecting a, a, a trader to, to pop back here. Nah, shut up, man. I'm going to get Katia to do it. He's getting grumpy. Um, yes, please. Trying to try, try to think what we've actually got to trade. I mean, I would have I would have bought some stuff back. We could, we could chuck that in. Wow. 
This guy is really clinging on to his uh, to his wood, which <laughs> yeah, didn't mean it to sound like that. Um, which I can kind of understand. I can understand why that is a valuable thing. Um, mm. Give me a second there, sir. I wonder if I can repair that pistol with what I've got, then that's that's probably going to be a pretty valuable uh, thing to have. Uh, no, we've got nowhere near the components of that. Okay. I mean, really, we can replenish, you know, whatever we, we get rid of. I mean, canned food, we've got some of that. A bandage, we've got some of that as well at the old... At the old town, so why don't we swap that? Because that is pretty much busted. It's not going to be reduced in value. Get rid of them old smokes. Come on, man. The other guy loved water. The other trader loved it. It's worth so much. God damn, he is he's driving a hard bargain. I mean... Oh, oh fine, yeah, we can have a deal. Wow, you are really... That is... That is rough. Still, while we're, we're sort of sitting pretty, this is this is kind of worth doing. Katya is one of the best traders in the game, so I mean we're still getting about as good a deal as we're gonna kind of get. Okay. Components essentially so that we can make more water. Uh, what do we want to trade for components? I uh, actually we let's just hold off on that. Um, so we definitely need water. We kind of we kind of need this to be clear. Great, we've got veggies. Gonna need a lot of water. Well, 20 water to get more veggies. Of course, we make water on the stove. Yeah, we know that there's somebody at the flipping door. He's a rip-off merchant. Gonna need more water still. Let's make two more filters. some cigarettes let's replenish them yes they're going to be with those tarry roll-up cigarettes but that's that's okay come on all hands on deck here we're all, all doing something Definitely going to need more firewood. Pavel, you can work on that. Uh, 
Do we have 20 water yet? Yes, we do. Let's plant these veggies, get them going. Obviously, we want to keep the heat up. Oh! What will we have? Two. Yeah, four fertilizer, that's fine. Okay, we're getting towards the end of the day here. I mean, why don't you get down there just in case the night starts to sort of catch up with us? Okay, plant some veggies. There you go, different song! How much firewood we got? Loads. Okay, enough of that. Let's get this place toasty. And then let's kill some bad guys. some more firewood and they're a bad idea okay here we go I think Pavel will have you on guard oh I don't have a shovel do I, I They'll only need one round with which to defend themselves, if it comes to that. Now, we're doing this as well because this should be a morale boost. It is very clear that these are some bad dudes. And taking them out is a good deed. So let's... take these two guys out, we know where they are, I'm going to do it. They're going to come for us, the AI is not the best. Got these guys hurt, what we've got to do is take these guys down and then we've got plenty of ammo. might do for Roman's state of mind getting severely wounded is <laughs> it's not a good thing oh my gosh I thought that was it there for a second okay let's let's just take stock of this just to be clear Roman is not going to continue clearing this mission. We'll 
get ourselves some useful stuff, but there is at least one more one more bandit there. This may have ruined our chances to have a happy ending for Roman. I hope it hasn't, but it might. Okay, what we want to do is get the stuff off the bodies. Um, the reason is because if you don't harvest it, it will disappear the next time that you visit. We've got a few bits, we've got a few bits, we're going to go back. I think it goes out saying that we're going to heal Roman up. That's for damn sure. He is staying in bed. He is getting bandaged up. Everyone's going to be concerned, but he'll be okay. Pavel will come back tomorrow night and we finish the task. Whew. Oh gosh. Right. Um. Right, we only need to take back one round. Uh, I think we can leave all of this stuff here. Let's take all of this. Harsh, that was real harsh. Okay, all right, run to the exit. Pavel comes back, picks up everything from that stash. We've got weapons, we've got body armor. And then he continues to clear this place out and we get our revenge. So what we're going to do... Pavel is not the most combat-oriented character, but uh, he'll get the job done. It's alright, Roman. Severely wounded. Tired. Okay, come on, man. Get up to bed. Uh, it should be a case of that Katya or somebody can... get a bandage for him. Sorry, we've got bandages. Don't worry. There's, there's bound to be more. There's bound to be more at the warehouse. Whoa, easy there, Tigger. You're fine. Stop being a baby. Come on, can I get you? No. Right, Pavel, you get some kip. We've got bandages. We've only got two, though. I would like to have more. That is for sure. He's gonna he's gonna sleep this whole night. I'll put Katya on guard. It'll be right as rain. You're gonna be fine, mate. Come on, stop being a baby. <laughs> it's a little harsh, I know. We'll make you some smokes. Just lay in bed. Have some cigarettes. No, actually, that's a terrible idea. Don't do that. Okay, so he's severely wounded. He's tired. But there you go. He's recovering. He will make a full recovery. There is no doubt in my mind about that. Oof. But wow. Wow. That was something else. 
I mean, when I saw him getting blatted, that shotgun, wow, did you see how much damage that caused? That shotgun blast, point blank, right up close. Wow, it caused a lot of damage. My heart really did just jump into my mouth as well. I was like, oh my god, that was nuts. This is something where having a moonshine still can help because with that you can sterilize the, uh, the bandages. You can make more of them. They are such a valuable trading commodity. It's just that you don't strictly need a still. You know what, now that we're going to somewhere where we are very likely to find more um, electrical components, I'm willing to upgrade the uh, willing to upgrade the heater. We need a thermostat, don't we? Alright man, you just rest up. You've done done a great job. Took out two heavily armed and armoured guys single handedly. Might get a little bit chilly immediately after we've upgraded the uh, the heater. You know, the fuel doesn't carry over to the new heater. Uh, yeah. I still maintain that we don't, we don't need to upgrade it. It's, it's more of a, a, quite a casual, nice to have. But, uh, I want to have it. Okay, let's get some more ice. Good job. Let's get it toasty in here. Good. We're burning through that uh, burning through that firewood, but it's it's okay, we've got plenty. Get some more ice stacked up just in case. Katya is going to stand guard. She's still going to have uh, a rifle. Roman will help with the guarding effort. It's just that he, uh, you know, he's a bit injured. But if anyone does come to get us, I, I don't. I'm not concerned. I think we will be okay. Even with his injury, Roman didn't become upset or anything. That's good. Yeah, we've got loads of cigarettes, but let's finish building the ones that we were making. There you go, Roman just, just convalescing under that open sky. Oh, look at that lighting. Beautiful. Oh, and the fire's been put out as well. Nope, no it hasn't. There you go, fire is still burning. It's been burning for 25 days. You'd think somebody would do something about that. Look at that temperature now. I mean, look at that. 24 degrees. Beautiful. Quite balmy in here. Oh. I thought that we would have more time. 
Okay, let's see what happened. Let's have a quick rundown then of, of everything that occurred. Yeah, we let him stay with us. He was our go-to scavenger. Yeah, damn right we denied it. that one yeah never forget it so I guess that radio report of the peacekeepers was correct yes oh Pavel found his wife and son Returned. Soon after that, she published her war diary, which became a bestseller. But the best of all, I've never had, I've never had the positive ending for Roman. This is the first time. He became a leader of the local community. So often it's it's he turns to drugs and alcohol. I've made him a hero. Never done that in this game before. Of all of the hours that I've put into this, I've never <laughs> never given him a happy, uh, you know, an ending where he's had a brighter future than his miserable past. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I've. Hmm. <laughs> I know it seems a silly thing to be so pleased with, but... Alright, anyway, there, there you go. I mean, this game is a story, it is a journey. You, you follow these characters and... You create a story for them. Create an end. That this was designed by people who had been through what the game portrays is pretty amazing I think we did a really really good run and it's amazing to think that these characters are going to have a great future in front of them I'm really really glad that I could share it with everybody anyway so thank you so much for watching will I do another one? maybe but for now I'll just say goodnight. <laughs> bye bye.